<laughs> dwnproductions.net masks bus props custom work if you need something custom made maybe something for the spooktacular season hit up dwnproductions.net fastcustomshirts.com August is here, and that is officially t-shirt buy-in season because it's back to school. Order some back to school shirts for those youngins or for them college kids. Fastcustomshirts.com. So much to choose from. And I found a film called, get this, The Absurd, Surreal, Metaphysical, and Fractured Destiny of Cerebus. The Aardvark. All right, what's this? Dan something, Dave something, Dave Sims? Dave Sim does the comic book, but Dave Sim had nothing to do with the creative movie. Uh, and it is a movie. It is 70 minutes long. and uh, got Animated, the- live action? Uh, animated. But le- we'll get to that. For people who are not familiar, Cerebus is a, was a black and white comic, independent out of Canada and like a lot of comics at that time, I think it was like the mid eighties or something. It was a knockoff. It was just a parody pretty much of Conan comics, just like Ninja Turtles was a parody of uh, what Frank Miller was doing. But Uh, what was the hook of it? Of Cerebus? Well, it was just, you know, it was adventures, you know, but he, you know, and it was, uh, like I said, it was parodying, uh, Sword and sorcery stuff, you know, like Elric of Melnibone, the albino adventurer is in it, but he like talks, or at least in the comic, the way it's written, you know, he's talking like Foghorn Leghorn. You know what I'm talking about, son. Um, but it's ironic because Cerebus is an aardvark. Very, you know, small, plush, cartoony looking, and it's in this Conan world of Right, but he's grim and tough, and uh, along with the selling point is Dave Sims' uh, art was great. It was really, really good. You know, too good for what you thought you were getting, but the comic eventually evolved into something else, and Cerebus was just kind of like a minor character, and all these big things were going on, and it became real controversial because Dave Sim was just using it as his sounding board for his, you know, opinions on religion and fucking society and feminism and and shit like that but i didn't see it as offensive maybe because i don't give a fuck about any of those things but a lot of people did and i can't believe a person who's creating something is putting themselves into it that's weird but the art continued to get better and better and uh so this guy that made this movie was obviously a big fan And he's like, hey, I'm going to make this animated thing. And I'm going to, I guess, use whatever money I have. But he found a lot of people, from what I've read, to volunteer their time and their efforts into it. Like 200 people in total. You know, and there's a shitload of people listed in the credits of it. And uh, I think they worked on it, they said, for 12 years. And I don't know when they finished it. But it just saw like a like a release. It's on in twenty one, and it's just been on streaming services. I guess for this year or maybe last year. Is and the animation consistent? It's not. You know, <laughs> if you remember what computer games looked like in the nineties, you know, in the early nineties, this is what that looks like. That that animation style. But does it look like it all the way through? There's one scene where it goes to like a hand-drawn animation and it's like, you should have done the whole fucking movie like this. Not that that scene's any good, but at least that would have been better. You know, it's, it's trying, I don't know. Everybody's rendered weird. You know, if you, you know, I don't know. I don't want to sound all fancy by saying rendered, you know, which I, I don't fucking do computer animation, but neither should these people. You know, it, it's just not good. And and it takes a bunch of these elements that really worked in the comic. But some shit works in comics and it doesn't work when you make it like even animated. It just 
and now the the comedy doesn't sit right not the sound is fucking real weird in it um because there's nothing like say like Cerebus and a couple of guys are walking down the street do a diddy diddy dum diddy do but the only sound is their conversation there's no like footsteps or you know background noise or air blowing or <laughs> no foley noise is what you're saying nothing just the conversation so there's there are scenes where there's like hey there's some noise of this you know but as soon as somebody's talking that all cuts out it's all fucking gone uh and the people doing the voice work they're just bad you know it's like they've got no emotion uh joe let's hear the cerebus uh, Cerebus not happy with what you're saying. You know, it was like three different fucking. And that's the way it goes. It's like <laughs> each of those two hundred people get a chance to do Cerebus' voice, and you just like, you know, um. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Sir. I reckon. And the movie just starts. It starts like Cerebus and this other guy are trapped fighting this wizard. And usually, okay, there's there's a lot of movies that start like that, okay? You're, you're right in the middle of the story. But then there's something like, hey, how did I get to this point? Well, let me tell you. Nah, it just cuts back to that other point. And there's like, well, what the fuck, you know? Because at first I'm like, did I skip something? Let me go back to, you know, no, that's just the way movie starts. Um uh, yeah, this is weird. I don't know who they made it for, you know, because it's not for Cerebus fans. I mean, I fucking like it. You know, it's just this guy felt the need to make this movie, like this powerful need. And uh, What I read is he eventually got permission from Dave Sim. And I guess if you watch it, it said like all that money, all that money from the streaming services is going to go to Dave Sim. So yeah, maybe in a couple of years, he'll have made like 275, maybe if he's lucky, but I, I don't see anybody watching this. You know, I did. Oh, you watched it. Because I'm a prick, you know, and I'm I'd like you, I've got so much time to kill that. I sat down and watched this shit. Uh, I'm interested. I've never picked up an actual Cerebus book, but I mean, it's been around long enough. I think it was the longest running thing until Spawn. Yeah, I ran 300 issues, which was a big accomplishment at that time. And, so uh, I, I was aware of it, and, uh, you know, he was in that issue of Spawn, you see. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I mean, that I've, see, I've seen that. I, I've seen, I've seen, I'm a Cerebus now, just like Joe said. <laughs> But yeah, I got that book and be a son. Um, yeah, but but like I said, if you've read Cerebus, you'll know where these story elements are coming from, but they just don't work, you know, because there's no it, they're done, they're just thrown in there. It's there's no context to it. It's fucking weird shit, man. Is the animation black and white? No. Okay, <laughs> that would be fucking rough. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a fan you know to have done this but god damn you think we waste time this guy's got some time to kill yeah i would i would have thought that would have been something that came across my radar because for a little bit i was just like oh, maybe i'll watch that lady death or gen 13 movies <laughs> maybe someday <laughs> <laughs> 